are celebrating National STEM Day and National STEAM Month with the hosts uh, of Wow in the World, the number one kids podcast, Mindy Thomas and Guy Raz. Thank you both so much for your time today. Thanks, Thanks, Rudy. Thanks for having us. It's always great to see you. I, I'm a parent myself. This is one of the, the things that we listen to. We listen to together. And now we have toys that are accompanying, you know, the podcast that we love so much. Yeah, we are excited. We've come out with our first line of STEM toys. I think we're the first podcast ever to come out with a toy line. And it's all based on the way that we played as kids, but sort of reimagined in new ways. We added wow to everything. I want, I want to go through a couple of them because I have some of them here with me right now. Uh, every kid loves dinosaurs in some way or another. Let's talk a little bit about this one. Yeah, I mean, the dino digging diorama, I mean, it is super cool. You get um, a bunch of these sort of little rocks where you can chisel out um, dinosaurs and build a dino world in a diorama. I mean, it is, imagine when you were a kid, right? You took a shoebox and you you built a diorama and toothpicks and all these things. And now we're reimagining all of those incredible, awesome experiments and, and projects that we got to do as kids in ways that are are, are sort of um, reimagined and and give kids uh, the sense of of wonder around all of these super cool things that are out in the world. And so that's a great example. I've got a bunch more and Mindy's got more behind her. And one other one I want to talk about too is this one. Not only does it fly, but it makes uh, funny noises too. So I think any kid of any age is, is going to love this one as well. Yeah, as we say, stomp, launch, and let her rip. We came out with, uh, we. I, I loved stomp rockets when I was a kid. I don't know if you played with them. Uh, they're a toy that I have given out for so many birthdays for birthday gifts. And so we re reimagined it. It's got three different rockets, so kids can experiment with the way the different nose cones make the, the rocket go higher or further. And then one of the rockets what has a little whoopee cushion attached to it. So when you stomp, launch, you hear, well, it toots. You, you, you got to buy the toy to find out, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's talk a little, a little bit about, you know, parents connecting with their kids in, in this way, too. I think oftentimes, you know, we're coming up to the holidays. People are thinking about gifts, you know, not just for um, National STEM Month, but also thinking of the things that are going to be under their tree or that they're going to exchange with their, with their, with their kids um, during the holidays. And this is kind of a great way of something interactive, something educational um, that, you know, parents could possibly uh, consider. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So oh, yeah, for, for sure. And, and, you know, one of the cool things about this, Rudy, is that all of these toys in each kit, there are these QR codes and they take you to secret audio messages and scientific facts that Mindy and I have are delivering to you. And so it's not just a stomp rocket, but we also talk about why certain nose cones, how they impact atmosphere and, and pressure and wind speeds and why they fly certain ways, why a, an exploding volcano uh, actually explodes, you know, what's happening beneath the surface of the Earth's crust. And so of course, on one level, they're toys, but on another level, they're real scientific, real STEM learning tools. And and that's what's so exciting about this is because I think m most, I think all of us are naturally curious about science, certainly when we're kids. And to, to sort of rediscover it as an adult with your kid is one of the most exciting things that I've experienced as a parent, for sure. Yeah, no, that's definitely, you know, I, I was going to save this to the end, but that was, you know, Star Wars when I was a kid, that was my, that was my go-to movie, but it made me excited about the planet, about rocket ships, about the atmosphere. I mean, it was everything that was connected with space. I, and even to this day, so every time that like my daughter asks me a question or wants to know about space, I was like, I got this. This is so exciting because those things that you love as a kid that get you, you know, maybe into this field, like you still love them as an adult. Yeah. I mean, kids learn through play. This is yeah. just an introduction to all of these different scientific concepts and the way the world works. And uh, and then we give you lots of other ideas after you've played with the toy the way we've created it. We also give you ideas to keep the wow rolling, as we like to say, where you can try new experiments with some of these toys. See Mindy, what you else you can erupt out of the volcano. <laughs> exactly. Mindy, you have a bunch of wonderful stuff behind you. Was there another one that you wanted to, uh, to point out? Uh, yeah, I would love to talk about the crystal geodes I've got back here. Uh, this one is just so 
beautiful. So you crack open these these geodes, these sparkling rocks, and then it comes with a little display case. So you can display your geodes. Uh, all of these toys have little ways to make them your own. So there's some little stickers that you can put on your case. And all of our toys also come with a STEM tool that if you had all the toys, you would have a whole collection of different STEM tools that you can use for all sorts of things, even beyond the toy itself. So um, this one is really exciting to me. It's just beautiful, I think. And then, of course, I don't know if you had sea monkeys as a kid. Yes. These sea monkeys will actually live. They'll stay alive. Um, these are our, our sea creatures aquarium. So uh, you can create your own little aquarium. I think you could have your whole a whole museum in your bedroom if you're a kid and you have all these toys. Whole and family. then, of course, there's the um, the the twinkle terrarium, the light up terrarium, where we've got. Um, I don't know if you can see this here. But we've created uh, another really beautiful toy. This one also doubles as a nightlight for your bedroom. So it comes with a little LED string lights, a little glow in the dark moon, and you can grow some plants, add your own, even cut out figures of Guy and uh, Mindy to stick in your terrarium as well. So kids can add their own little figures and create their own little planets with this as well. So lots of fun toys. We're really, really excited about these. And they're all oh, toys. I hope that one's not just for kids. I hope that's not just for kids because I want one of those too. Oh, oh yeah, exactly. No They're question. Funny. No question. Yeah, and, and guys, let's talk a little bit about the ages for for some of the. Obviously, some are skewed a little bit younger, some a little bit older. But when what age can we you know start buying these for kids, and what do they go up to? I mean, the sweet spot is sort of five to twelve years old, um, and 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 it really applies to virtually all of them because kids re respond and relate to science at different levels, and so we've got. You know, quite even with the QR code, some of the 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 science in the kits is you know more advanced for a twelve year old, but but everything will be more or less understandable for a five year old. And so there's a really really wide range, which also ref is reflective of who actually is listening to our podcast, Wow in the World, which of course, as you know, is is you know is we've we've been doing it for about eight years, and that's that's really the inspiration behind these toys because Wow in the World is a podcast about science, but it's really a cartoon. Um, and the science is kind of it's in there, it's deeply embedded in there, but you wouldn't necessarily know it from just listening right away. And, and just one of the final thing before we take off is that, um, you know, we listened to, to the podcast and my daughter was obsessed with the solar eclipse. Uh, we listened to that one multiple times. But even to this day, she still wants to talk about it. She still, you know, wants to go back to the drawings that we did, the you know, find the glasses and seeing the inspiration that you put out there and just knowing that this is impacting kids, not just on that day. But months and years to come is just it's just amazing. Yeah, I think that's something that we try to infuse in everything that we do. These toys have long term playability. So a four year old might interact, might just have fun stomping and watching the stomp, uh, the high flying air rocket launch. But a, a nine, six, seven, eight year old might want to learn the science behind how the rocket is thrust up into the air. And so our show is the same way. Younger kids might laugh at some of the jokes and the characters. Older kids are going to get more interested in the science behind this. So all of these things can grow with kids and with families. And we'd be remiss to say, if we didn't say, Rudy, that this is all. these are all available at Amazon. Just search amazon.com slash wonderykids or just type in wow in the world at Amazon. You can get it at Barnes & Noble, Learning Express, Indigo, and mastermind toys so they're all available right now wonderful go ahead and come with a free three month uh subscription to wondery plus so you can listen to all of our episodes early and ad free wonderful well, it's a perfect thing to go ahead and check out this month something perfect for the, for the holidays mindy guy always so great to chat with you and don't forget to check out the podcast wow in the world and uh we will chat with you both very very soon Thank thanks you. rudy thanks, thank rudy. you